Okay, we know how to multiply and divide fractions, but now we need to know how to multiply and divide mixed fractions. Um, again, there's only like one more step to it than what you normally do, which is fractions. So let's just say we have a whole number times a fraction. Well, we can make any whole number a fraction by putting it over one because two divided by one is still just two. So we didn't change its value, but we wanna put it as a fraction so we know we can do numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So now we can just multiply straight across. Oh, actually, let's reduce within the problem because we know how to do that. If you don't know how to do that, go and watch the um, multiplying fractions video. Okay, so we do within the problem two and four. We can both divide them by two, because that is a common factor. Two divided by two is one, four divided by two is two, and now we multiply straight across. One times three is three, one times two is two. And we have an improper fraction, we wanna change it to a mixed fraction. Two goes into three with one, with one left over as a remainder, and then we have a denominator of two, okay? So let's continue this. Let's continue multiplying mixed numbers. Okay, so multiplying mixed fractions, what you have to know is that you have to change a mixed fraction to an improper anytime you're multiplying or dividing. So multiplying fractions, we have one fourth, and then we have to change this three and one half to an improper fraction. So three times two is six, six plus one is seven. We keep the denominator. And then we just multiply like normal, like you learned in the multiplication and division of fractions. So we can check cross-reducing. And if you don't know how to cross-reduce, make sure and go back um, and watch the multiplication and division video. And so there's no common factor, so we just multiply. One times seven is seven. Four times two is eight. So you get seven eighths. We don't have to reduce it or anything. Um, so that would be our answer, seven eighths. Um, let's try another one. Okay, one third times six and four fifths. So one third just stays as a fraction, six and four fifths, we're going to change to improper. Six times five is 30, 30 plus four is 34 over five. So it doesn't seem that we have a common factor anywhere, so we can't reduce. So we're just multiplying. One times 34 is 34. Three times five is 15. Mixed fraction, 15 goes into 34 twice. That's 30 with four left over. So that becomes our numerator and our denominator is 15. Great, that is how you multiply mixed fractions. Let's divide mixed fractions. Same step, you have to change all mixed fractions to improper. So you have two and one eighth divided by one ninth. So two and one eighth divided by one ninth, we're gonna change this to improper. Two times eight is 16 plus one is 17. So 17 eighths divided by one ninth, and then we follow our division rule. Keep, change, flip. And if you don't know why we keep, change, flip, again, watch the addition and um, watch the multiplication and division of fractions and I explain it. So keep, change division to multiplication and flip that second fraction. Now I can see if I can cross reduce, there's no common factor. 17 and one don't have a common factor and neither do nine and eight. So I am just going to um, multiply across. 17 times nine is 153, and eight times one is eight. And then I'm gonna change this um, improper fraction to a mixed fraction. I say, well, how many times does eight go into 153? Well, it goes in 19 times. And then 19 times eight is 152, so I have one left over, okay? Um, if you needed to use you know, calculator calculations or by hand. I had already worked out the problem, so I know. So eight goes into 153, 19 times with one left over. Okay, um, let's do one more. Six and one half divided by one third. 
So we need to change all fractions to improper. So six times two is 12 plus one is 13. So we have 13 halves divided by one third. We do the division rule, which is keep change flip. So keep change division to a multiplication and flip that second fraction, which is what we call again the reciprocal. And then um, see if I can cross reduce. 13 and one do not have a factor in common. Neither do three and two, so we just multiply straight across. 13 times three is 39, and 32 times one is two. So two goes into 39 um, 19 times. 19 times two is 38, so that's one left over. So 19 and a half. And that is how you multiply and divide mixed fractions.